Hello everyone, Tim here again from timscomputerfix.net and in this video we will be replacing a hard drive in an ASUS EEE PC 1015PX netbook. Now there are a few little tricks to gain access to the hard drive in this netbook and we'll go over them here in this video. Now the first steps we're going to take in gaining access to this hard drive is to remove four screws that's under the battery, which I've already removed here. There's one there, here, here, and here. So once we get those four screws removed, we can then proceed to punch out the tabs that are on each side of where the battery was sitting. Now this is shown here in red. There's one here on this side, a tab that we need to push in. And on the other side, I'll show you over here, in, shown in red, there's the other tab we have to push in. Now to push these tabs it requires more than just like your average spudger. Uh, what I use is an actual flathead screwdriver. And you need to use a fair amount of force to actually depress these uh, tabs inwards. Once these tabs are pushed inwards, and you'll know by a click, we will then be able to remove the keyboard on the top side of the netbook. I learned that while depressing these tabs, prying up with my other hand on the keyboard cover helps this process greatly. Yeah, so once we have the tabs depressed and we're able to pry up on the on the keyboard and the keyboard cover a little bit, we'll use our spudger to kind of uh, loosen the clamps that hold our keyboard and keyboard cover into place on this netbook. So we'll gently pry up, loosen the keyboard on both sides. Now we just gently pull back on the keyboard, slowly working it loose and pull it forward towards the screen also to release it from its hinges. We fold the keyboard back and now we remove the ribbon cable that's attached to the netbook and then we can set our keyboard aside. Okay, this next step really amazes me. We're going to unscrew 12 screws holding this cover into place. There's one here, two, Get that one loose. Good. Three. On we go. Four. All right, that one won't quite come out with the magnet, but it's loose. Move on to the next one. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, little trouble there, ten, get it loose. That's 10. So far, that's 10. Get it loose. Okay. Trouble with that one. Got it out. 11. Unbelievable the amount of screws that they use to hold this thing together. 12. 12 screws all together to hold that teeny tiny uh, palm rest on this netbook along with clamps that we'll show you here shortly uh, is a little trick to um, after you get the screws out you pry up on this uh, palm rest and there's a little trick uh, one place to apply pressure on both sides that's very important so we're going to undo this ribbon cable here first and then we're going to start to pry up on the palm rest here and then we're going to uh, take our flathead screwdriver and marked in yellow there. We're going to give a little pressure there. We're going to apply some pressure, kind of pry up there. And watch how easy this comes out. Bang. Okay. 
And then on this other side, we're also going to, um, once we loosen this side up a little bit, we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Now, if you don't put pressure on these exact locations, you're going to have a very hard time getting this palm rest off, I promise you. So, you know, once we're, you know, loose enough here where we can kind of loosen things up, we'll flip over the other side and also on the other side marked in yellow here, shown here. Uh, right there is where you want to put a pry up again with a flathead. I would I would recommend a flathead, not a spudger. See, pop pops right open. Everything's free. You just kind of pull back on that palm rest. Once everything's kind of loosened up, and uh, you will have pretty much have gained access to the hard drive at this time. Okay, now that we got everything kind of loose from the tabs, we're going to ease the palm wrist back a little bit and then we will be able to see where our hard drive lies at this point point. and there's our hard drive we have two ribbon cables that are kind of holding or covering our hard drive here so we're just going to kind of pull our ribbon cables out those go to the daughter board that leads to our USB ports and we'll fold those back just kind of loosen them up and then we will take out two screws actually that secure this hard drive into place so just two more screws is all we have to take out and we will be able to basically uh, pretty much slide our hard drive back a little bit to uh, kind of ease them out of the netbook so only two screws to take off of the hard drive and in case you couldn't see because of my hand, I'm going to mark those here in red. Those are the two areas you take the two screws out. And I think we need to just go ahead and just remove the ribbon cable. We can, we can slide the hard drive back now. The hard drive will slide back slightly out of the SATA slots. Okay, but I think we need to just go ahead and just remove these ribbon cables all together. That way we don't damage anything. So we'll just pop those out like so and you know now we're able to once everything slid back we're able to kind of pry up and remove our hard drive and there we go all right so once we have our new hard drive we just kind of do everything in reverse order and put everything back together in reverse order of how we took it apart hey i hope everybody enjoyed this video uh, please rate and subscribe to my feed. I would really appreciate it. I plan on ramping up my computer repair videos. Um, so if you if you like what you see here, please leave a comment uh, and visit my website at timscomputerfix.net. So until next time, everyone. See you soon.